All right, welcome to Color Up. Today we're gonna to cover the Iron Cross. Uh, a lot of people love this strategy. There's a lot of different variations. Today we're gonna to keep it real simple. What we're gonna do is wait for a point to be established after the come out roll. And we're gonna bet one unit in the field. Actually, we'll play at a $10 table today. So two units on the field, two on the five, two on the six and the eight. That's 10 and these are $12. So what this does is this covers every single number except for the seven. So we have the, in the field, we have the two, three and four covered. Up here we have the five, the six, obviously this, we want to avoid the seven, the eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12. So any number we roll, we will win a profit. Now we really want to be rolling field numbers, but if we do roll a five, we'll lose our field. This $10 will pay 14, so we will win $4. So a small profit if we hit the five. With the six and eight, $12 is gonna pay us 14, so that's only a profit of $2 on the six and eight, but it is a profit nonetheless. So as long as we're rolling numbers and avoiding the seven, we will continue to win money. Like I said, there's a lot of different variations. A lot of people will hit some numbers and then pull it down and wait for a new shooter. Or maybe my next video, I'll run it along with the pass line bet. There's a lot of different ways you could do it, but basically the iron cross is to cover every number and it's a cross. That's why they call it the iron cross. All right, let's talk about our bankroll for today. Typically, I like to go 10 times my outlay. So for this, the Iron Cross, 10, 20, 32, 44, $44. I would like to have $440, but today we're just gonna play with 300. Again, I'm a kind of a $5 table player. So I typically wouldn't pay, play uh, $10 tables, but I know a lot of you out there do, so this is uh, just a little example for you guys. So we have our 300. Let's go ahead and change $20 out for some singles. Let's rack it up. All right, we're all set up and ready to play. Okay, pucks off, new shooter. Nine, makes a point of nine. So let's set up our iron cross. Two units in the field. Ask the dealer to place our five, six, and eight. Don't forget, we need to add our caps of $2 for six and eight. We've got our iron cross set up and let's roll some numbers. 10, 10 a field winner. Now my dice here roll, that's okay. So you're gonna win one to one there. Let's set, set that aside. Nine, we hit our point of nine. It's also gonna be a field winner for us. I'm gonna set that aside. Now our place bets are off. When the puck is off, our field bet would be working for the come out roll. Uh, for the purpose of this example, we're going to go ahead and set it aside, pull it down for a little bit, and get a new point established. 12, 12 craps. So that's not going to give us a new point. 3, another craps number. 6, all right. Point 0.6. Put our field back, get it back working, and let's roll some numbers. 10, 10 is going to be a winner in the field. 4, another field winner. So the reason a lot of people like this strategy is because you got action on every roll of the dice, so it's a lot of fun. Eight. So here with the eight, we're going to lose our field, but we're going to win 14, so a profit of $2. So let's set our profit aside. 
We've got our field bet still working. So if we're hitting five, six, and eights, it's gonna take a lot longer to recoup our initial $44. Um, so we really wanna see some field numbers, um, especially the two and 12, which is gonna pay double. Uh, some casinos, the 12 or the two may pay triple. So that's really where you wanna be. But as long as we're rolling numbers, we're gonna be winning with every roll of dice. So let's go. Three, three craps. It's a winner for us in the field. And seven, seven out. So it looks like we won back our initial 44. So we made a little profit on that hand. We've got a new shooter. Let's get a point established. All right, seven's not gonna affect us. All right, nine, so point's now nine. Let's get our iron cross set back up. Okay, we're ready to go. Five, so we're gonna lose the field here. I'm going to win back 14. All right, the 10. That's just a winner in the field. Let me move that down. All right, the 5. We're going to lose the field. We'll win back 14. So we're just going to win $4 profit there. All right, the six. Again, we lose the field. Win 14. All right, three. Just gonna win one to one in the field. All right, five. Lose our field. Win 14. Five again. So this is what we like to see. As long as we just want the shooter, we lose the field. Gonna win 14. As long as the shooter keeps rolling numbers, we're in good shape. All right, the eight. Lose the field. Win 14, so that's a profit of $2. Five. Lose the field, 14. And there's the seven. Okay, pucks off. That's why a lot of people will usually do maybe uh, four, five, or six, and then they'll pull their bets down uh, with this strategy. We're just gonna play it out. But I think we did okay there. I'm not sure we won. We hit a lot of the five, six, and eight, so we were winning small profits. So I'm not sure if we got to our forty-four dollars there, but we'll count it up at the end. Um, yeah, points off. New shooter. Okay, five points five. So let's get set back up here. Two units in the field. Five, six, and eight. Put caps on our five, or six and our eight. Eleven. Eleven's gonna be a field winner. Ten, another field winner. Four, all right, we're rolling some field numbers. So that's 30. Six. So we're gonna lose our field. We'll get paid 14. Eight. 
eight. Lose our field. Paid 14. And a seven. So, yeah, that one I'm pretty sure we didn't win back our 44. So, seven out. Okay, the, my bank here is running out of singles, so we're going to take these, change them in. Give those to the bank. That's 20. Here's our five back. Okay, pucks off. New shooter. Seven. It's not going to affect us. We're not paying the plat. We're not playing the pass line this time. 10. I think I'll do another video. If I haven't said that already, we'll do another video with the iron cross and the pass line. A lot of people play it that way. All right, points 10. So let's go ahead and set up our cross. Field. Five, six, and eight. Looks like we're coming down to the end of our game. All right, a nine will be a field winner. Five, five, we're gonna lose the field. We're gonna get paid 14. Ten, so the point points hit. Puck's gonna come off as a field winner for us. We're going to temporarily pull our field bet down. Place bets are off. Let's get a new point established. Seven. It's good timing. It's not going to affect us. A nine. Okay, points down nine. Let's get our field bet back working. Eight. So we're going to lose our field. Win 14. All right, 12. Hit our double, so we're going to get paid double on our 12. Again, we want to be playing on layouts with triple, but today we're playing with what I got. All right, the four. Four is going to be a field winner. All right, the nine, hit the point. That's also a win for us in the field. We're gonna temporarily pull our field bet down and place bets are off, pucks off. Let's wait for a new point. Okay, an eight, points an eight. Let's get our cross back working. Two, two craps, all right. Another field double winner. Phase double. So let's rack that up. It's a nice win for us. Shooter's still shooting. Four. Four is going to pay us one to one. Six. Gonna lose our field bet and win 14. And seven, seven out. Pucks off. Dealer's gonna take in all of our bets. And we have a brand new shooter. All right, point's gonna be nine. Let's get our cross working. All right, 
10. 10 is going to be a field winner for us. Another 10. And nine. So the points hit. That's a field winner for us. Uh, pucks off. We're going to go ahead and temporarily pull down our field bet so we don't have any bets working on the come out roll. Let's get a new point established. Four. My dice rolled there, but that was a three. Three, one, four. Points now four. Let's get our field bet back working. We've got our cross going. Let's roll some more numbers. All right, the six, so we're going to lose our field. Win 14 on the six. All right. Right back on the six. Again, we'll lose our field. Get paid 14. Eight. Lose our field. Win 14. We don't mind hitting the five, six, and eight. It just takes longer to win back your initial $44 bet. So we like to see some field numbers, but Again, I believe on this shooter, we've already made back our 44, so every roll is a profit, whether it be a small profit or a nice profit. Ah, seven. Seven out. Um, was I, did I just hit a four a second ago? Not much I could do about it now. So seven out, points off. Dealer's gonna collect. Let's go ahead and make change. This is some singles. And pucks off. Last shooter sevened out. So we have a new shooter. And here we go. Okay, three. Three craps is not going to establish a point for us. Eight. Eight's a new point. Set her up. Okay, here we go. Points eight. All right, the five. So we're going to lose our field. Win 14. Points eight. Hit our five, gonna lose our field. Went back 14. Nine. Nine's just gonna be a field winner. Seven. I was just about to say I want to see a nice long roll from this shooter. Seven out. I don't think we want our $44 back there. Um, do we have enough for one more? I think so. Let's make some change. Actually, we don't, but let's see. Okay. Let's just see what we can do. All right. Um, new shooter. Nine. All right. Points nine. Let's see what we do have. We got our field. We got our eight, our six. Our caps, we got everything but the five. Um, maybe not a, not the best idea, but we're going to pull from our profits. And so we have every single number working. 
and hopefully we can get a decent roll here. All right, points nine. Okay, the five. Glad we put the five up. So we're going to lose our field. And the bank is out of ones again, so let's give our bank some ones and get back 20. So where was that? Okay, so we lose the field. Get paid the 14. And here we go, points nine. Six. Gonna lose the field. Get paid a 14. Points nine and seven. Seven out, so I don't think we want our money back there. All right, so let's total it up, see where we're at. Oops. This is 100, this is 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. This is 50, so 250, 260, 280. 290, 300, $302, so only a $2 profit. It is a profit. Obviously, you can play as long or as little as you like. Um, but again, it's a lot of fun. You got, you got a lot of action wrong with every roll of dice, so um, I really enjoy this strategy. Is it uh, profitable, profitable or a wise strategy? I don't know, I'll leave that up to you, but I'll come back with another video and maybe play the pass line along with odds um, with the Iron Cross. But for now, I hope you enjoyed and good luck on coloring up. <music>